the state. Well, I'm so sick of traveling, you know. <laughs> you go out, go out of, out of state or go around it and do this stuff that certainly wouldn't be a bad idea to take a few months off. <laughs> One effect of the population boom is that more people are building in the wildland urban interface, kind of a clunky term for where the city meets the forest. More people are also going out into the woods without understanding fire. And that's a reference to the campfire that apparently started the Cold Springs blaze in Boulder County. To what extent are destructive wildfires a result of growth? Well, I think that, I mean, we get a, a large majority of our fires generated by lightning strikes. That being said, the more people you have who want to get out into the rural parts of the state, the higher the probability is that someone is going to make a mistake. It certainly puts greater pressure on us to find new ways. Social media is one example we talked about of making sure that people do understand what is safe hiking, what is safe campfire utilization. In short, do you, you think the state could play a bigger role in being that voice? I think the state could be part of it, and, and obviously if you look at the natural allies that should participate in that kind of a network, I mean, hotels and restaurants at all have some benefit from people coming and visiting and then going away. You know, historically there's always been among the majority of, a pretty large majority of Coloradans, an appreciation that tourists that come and spend money and generate a significant amount of tax, and then they're out of our hair. It's something beneficial. But those who receive that benefit should probably share some of the responsibility to make sure that we are educating everyone about how our wildfires started and, and how devastating they can be. I want to go back to this idea of growth versus the amount of money the state has to handle it. You mentioned the potential for a Tabor timeout, the Taxpayer Bill of Rights. A proposed measure doing just that to allow the state to keep excess tax revenue is no more. The organizers suspended their campaign earlier this week to try to get it on the ballot for November. You supported their efforts. Were you disappointed by the withdrawal of the ballot measure? Uh, the last discussion I heard that I was a part of, uh, they were still going forward. So I have not had a chance to talk to anyone to find out exactly what were the compelling reasons that pushed them to abandon the effort. And so where do you go from here to try to get additional money for transportation, education, especially given how poorly your hospital provider fee fared in the last session? And it seems that Republicans are not uh, willing to compromise on this issue. Is it just that people get so sick of the traffic that they're driven, or, or yeah, what? I think people will get more and more frustrated, and they're going to be asking their elected leaders, why couldn't you find a compromise? What, what, what were the problems? You know, 